Maria, some new information just came in. Baltimore, their inner harbor here. The temperature is 104, but with a dew point of 78, it actually feels like it's 120. So it's going to feel extremely hot. Of course, with heat like this, you really need to take care of your car. This morning, we actually had AAA in. A mechanic, Taj Jones, showed us how to check the coolant, and he explained why it's so important to have the right mix. Too much water in a, in a vehicle versus antifreeze will definitely cause your temperature to rise because it doesn't draw as much heat as it would if you had the correct mixture. If you have too little water in the cooling system, then you're going to have problems with the uh, car overheating because what the water does is it draws some of the heat from the actual cooling system. Of course, you know, your car can heat up so quickly. This is 10 minutes after a 90 degree temperature. And again, we're talking about a lot of places much hotter than this. But after 10 minutes, you can see that temperature climbs up to close to 110. And then just a few minutes later, 20 minutes, you can see now there, we're in the 110 teens. It continues to go up as we go through time and, of course, becomes extremely hot and uh, a deadly if you leave any kids or any pets in the car. Well, we do want to give you some heat tips because there are a lot of things that you can do at least to help yourself on days like this. Stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, as well as the drinks with electrolytes, Gatorade, that sort of thing. Eat small meals, eat more often. Use a buddy system when you're working in the excessive heat. You know, have somebody just kind of keep an eye on you, you keep an eye on them, and also, Postpone that outdoor activity till either late in the day or do it very early on in the day before it's at its hottest. Those are kind of the, the standard tips yes. of how to stay cool. Right. So we started thinking, well, maybe there's some things that we haven't heard, heard about that right. maybe you guys are doing sort of out of the ordinary tips for beating the heat. And you have sounded off on our Facebook pages. And, you know, uh, Joni says that when uh, losing power during the southern summer nights, what she does is she will actually dampen a towel with water and then cover with it to sleep. It actually cools off the body. That's, I guess, similar to maybe putting something um, in the fridge like a towel or something and then using that and uh, this person here Jim he says he puts ice on his wrists neck and behind no I'm sorry he says and behind the ears works great well you know wherever and as we take a look here to uh, somebody else suggests some um, Marie, I guess we're going to you. We ran out of time. <laughs> we are. With my behind comment. Exactly. Yeah, Wrap sorry. it up. She got the hook. All right. <laughs> Digital Media Center here. And we wanted to show you what's on weather.com. And, of course, our top story, being the heat. That's our first tab. You click on that, and you get everything you need to know. Of course, tracking the heat. A lot of folks seeing the hottest weather they've had in decades, including Elmira, Rochester, Toledo, Syracuse, Reading, Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Allentown, all those areas seeing some very hot weather yesterday that continues today. So maybe it has you thinking of getting away. Well, we've got you covered there, too. You scroll down to the bottom. You see Summer Travel Guide. Of course, this is also a big vacation week, so you click on that, and you have your vacation planner. So uh, maybe it's a staycation. How about outdoor entertaining? You've got some friends coming over, picnic, grilling, whatever you have going on. You click on that. My attention was drawn to the mosquito activity, because I know for my staycation outside, it's kind of rough in and around the Atlanta metro area. You can check out uh, the mosquito activity and also plan for the outdoors. Your outdoors guide there. Just to click away at weather.com. Um...